Welcome back people, we got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today. So, I was meant to do a stream yesterday, um, Christmas Day. Yeah, I didn't quite manage to do that, and um, the reason why is I was up all the night before. I didn't get any sleep, and yeah, I had a busy day with the kids. So, because of that, I'm sorry I didn't stream yesterday, but today we are streaming. Um, how's it going people, good to see you. I hope you guys all had a good Christmas. Just give me one sec, I'm just getting set up. It's been a short minute since I've done a stream. I'm just checking, making sure that all the audio and everything is good. Alright, I think we're good to go. How is everybody doing? Merry Christmas, Gary. Good to see you, man. Hope you had a good one as well. Alright, so I've never actually opened up the presents before on Fishing Planet. I'm pretty sure I haven't done that anyway, so um, we'll uh, we'll have a look, see see what it gives. <clears throat> My dad did say he checked it out. He said that from, from one gift he ended up getting some fireworks. I don't know. I'm going to go into a few lakes. Obviously we are going to do some fishing, but I'm going to go into a few lakes, open up a few presents and see... Um, see if it gives me anything else really other than fireworks. I was hoping maybe it might give me the odd bait coin here and there, but I don't know. Let's have a look. Oh, well, okay. Well, that was, um, <laughs> that was a gift that I don't need, <clears throat> but, um, okay. Can I open it again? Come back and see if there's another gift waiting for you tomorrow. Okay. So we can collect it daily. Let me, um, let me try a different lake. See see what else it gives us. I'm interested to see what we get from it. Yo, yo. <laughs> How's it going, uh, boss gamer? I hope you had a good Christmas, man. Yeah, I've just been... I, I, normally, obviously, I'd, well, I was going through a stage where I was streaming every day. And um, I kind of backed off on the streams just a little bit. Just because I felt like the... I felt like the videos were doing a lot better. Like, what's the point in me streaming for hours on end? Like, some people do like to watch streams, so it's okay, but... Um, yeah, I just... I would stream for hours and hours, and it just seems like that more people are interested in videos. Because, obviously, videos, I get down to the, the main point of showing certain things and what to do and that kind of stuff. So, I think that's probably why people prefer, prefer the videos, but... I am gonna... I am gonna try and put a little bit more effort into it, though, um, through streaming, so... I don't know what the schedule is going to be yet, but for the new year, I'm going to do it where I stream a certain amount of days and obviously still uploading videos. Just so that way, for people who do prefer streams, they they can watch that. Some people like watching long things, some people prefer it short, but... Okay, this one's a green one. Okay, some fireworks. The amount of fireworks I've got is insane. As it's Christmas, we should be able to let them off, shouldn't we? Or not? Not. <laughs> oh well, okay. Well, let me let me um let me uh, place some fireworks the other day when I did the the Christmas missions. Yeah, it's not it's not having it. I'm wondering if I go into a, a, a better lake, whether it give me a better gift. That's what I'm interested to see. Catching the monster at Emerald Lake it is impossible. I've already caught it, man. I got a video on it. You can check it out. <clears throat> Let me, um, uh, what about, let's, let's have a look in blue crab. I look, everything's half priced there for the travel costs. It's not bad. There's a gang, Ken Chief. Merry Christmas to you as well. I remember you. I do. Um, trying to think of the name. Kenji boy. Kenji. Yeah. I remember you, man. How's it going? <clears throat> I don't think by me getting into a better lake is going to give me a better gift, but I just want to. I want to see. I don't know where the present is in this place. Is there even one in here? I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah. Let's say I'm pretty sure they're in all of them. Oh, my dad's actually fishing in this lake. 
Mm, I don't need those. I don't know. What do you think I should do? Do you think um? Do you think I should fish in here, or do you think I should go to Maroon River? Whereabouts is he? I'm, I bet he's down looking for tarpon, isn't he? Yeah, he's down there for tarpon. Mm, here, I haven't fished in blue crab for a while, have I? So yeah, we're we'll uh, we're fish here. He probably don't even know that I joined, to be honest. <laughs> oh, I just got to quickly um. I missed something. Hold on, give me one sec, guys. I just gotta. Oh gosh, keep pressing the wrong buttons. I gotta move my night bot. It says it's already signed in. I don't know how it's already signed in because um. Well, it says I got a sign in, but yeah, it's already signed in because it just come up saying there if you want to be a member. So that's kind of strange. Anyway, all right, let's go. Uh, let's go see what my dad's catching. He's probably what's he got? Tarpon, red drum. Oh, he's been busy. Oh, he had a unique black drum. So yeah, as well as some tarpon, I think I might. <clears throat> I think I might actually go for some some black drum as well because I haven't caught an insane amount of black drum. So because of that, it's going to obviously give me that little bit more cash, that little bit more XP. And let's uh, pull up here. Oh yeah, it was um it was good fun yesterday. I had a good time with the kids, but. <clears throat> I was so worn out, so I was, um, I was meant to fish, um, I was meant to, I was meant to do a stream, sorry Luke, yeah, you did ask that question, I, I, I forgot to reply, I do, I used to fish a lot in real life, but I haven't had the chance to, because, um, when you got kids, and you're trying to do YouTube, and spending all your time doing lots of other things, it's hard for me to get the time, but, yeah, I do, I do fish in real life, I just haven't for a long time, man, I hope, hopefully I can again at some point, I was hoping to, to do it this year and do a stream on it. I even bought the battery banks and stuff, but I just didn't. Unfortunately, I just didn't get the the time to do it. So, yeah. But I do. I do obviously. I do plan to. I, I probably will have some of that on the channel at some point. I'm pretty sure. Um. Oh, it's the uh, green crabs they prefer, isn't it? I don't think I've got any green crabs on me. Oh, I have. Oh, there you go. I got plenty. What am I missing there? I don't know why the feeder's not on there. Let me put on a hook as well. <clears throat> How's it going, Thomas? I uh, appreciate that you always drop comments on, on all my videos, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, let's get some medium cut bait as well. Have I got medium cut bait? Yeah, I have. Oh my gosh, my mouse is going absolutely bonkers right now. I got, I got tons of medium cut bait. If it equips it, there we go. Oh my gosh, my mouse is absolutely overtaking my controller. Okay, so we're we'll trying to get some tarpon. So that that's for tarpon. We got two for red drum. And then uh, I might actually have a go on spinning. You know, this this rod is um, it's not it's not the best, <laughs> but. It would be good fun. It would be good fun to to catch some fish here with that. Oh wow, that was close. Let's buy a license. Yeah, doing all the Christmas updates. I finally completed all of them, but um, it did cost me a lot of money actually. It wasn't cheap. I did obviously spend some real of my, of my own money at my own wallet sort of thing. I did spend some real money, but the main thing is, it, I think it cost me nearly about eight hundred thousand cash in game money. To to do what I did to do all those Christmas missions, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't cheap. <clears throat> um, okay, hold on, gonna move my coffee real quick. I don't even know if he knows that I'm here. He probably don't. I don't know. No, he might do. <clears throat> they did an update. After the yeah, the, 
it's a shame sometimes when they do the updates because like some of the updates are really good but then sometimes they they nerf it so bad <clears throat> like you'll catch at an insanely fast pace and then they do a nerf and it, it's just the pace then is just terribly slow but it's good fun though when you when you're doing it and before they add the, the the nerfs and stuff to slow down the pace of catching Can you buy levels in this game? No, you can't, man. You can't you can't buy levels, no. For some people who's uh, new to the game, I'm pretty sure they wish that they could, but unfortunately you can't, yeah. I have the Fishman's. Yeah, I noticed that you left a comment saying that actually, Kenji, yeah. The Fishman's Fishing Planet. Do you like it? What do you think of it? Do you like it? No, you have to buy it for the um, for the Fisherman's Fishing Planet. You have to actually buy this DLC, don't you? For Blue Crab, that's a little bit crazy. Well, it's been a long time since I've fished in this place, you know. A really long time. If you buy premium, it makes stuff cheaper. Gives you more money, so you can see the time. Yeah, it gives you more money, gives you more XP. I don't actually need XP at this point, because... I'm max level. The only thing it would do is it would just make me rank up more. But I don't really need to rank up because I play on PC and I play on PS4 as well. So rank's not too important to me because I'm playing on two different accounts. <coughs> I'll show the fish longer, I'm sorry. My bad. What's everybody doing for New Year? Has anybody got any plans? Anyone doing anything special? It's the same, but you get bait coins for unique fish. Yeah, it used to years ago. That's what um, that's what this used to do. <laughs> yeah, the fishing planet itself used to do that back in the day. Many years ago, that that was really good when it used to do that. I used to get the bait coins, and I can't remember. For I know it was definitely um, Sand Delta, but there was another lake. They actually brought a permanent license to get into. That was pretty cool. I'm not really going to get much chance to use that spinning rod, am I, to be honest? Are you on PS4 now? No, at the minute I'm on PC, man. they got to get that, earn that money back for the next update, so that way I can always keep sharing that new content. I've got to... Um, I've always got to have a lot of money, otherwise I won't be able to show the next update. Even though I've got 2 million, it does sound like a lot, but when an update drops, I can easily easily burn 1 to 1.5 one mil, no problem. I've got to go, good luck Bubbles. Okay, Thomas, thanks for dropping by, man. Enjoy the rest of your day. <sighs> Nothing, just drinking, how about you? <laughs> I don't really drink, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really... I don't really have anything planned. And obviously, I, I've got kids, so I won't be I won't be going out anywhere. I'll probably just um, I don't know, maybe sit indoors, chill, watch a film, something like that. <coughs> yeah, I, I do apologise for yesterday. Yesterday, I really did want to do a stream yesterday, but I uh, yeah, I didn't have any sleep the night before that. And then I was playing with the kids all day and messing around and stuff. And then. I went to see some other family members because um, where I live now, for, because of the COVID thing, it's now like um, tier four, so it's quite serious. So I went to see some family members yesterday for a bit, and then uh, went around, did a few bits and pieces, and I thought, okay, I'll do a motor blog. I forgot my camera, didn't I? So that was that was absolutely fantastic. Well, not the camera, actually, that's a lie. I had the camera, I forgot to put the battery in the camera. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. For New Year, I'm gonna I'm gonna blow my. S I <laughs> wow. Okay, I can't say that, Kenji. Hello from Poland. Wow, that's a long way, man. Hmm. 
Can you send me a DM on Instagram if you go live? Then I know. I normally... Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, man, it, it'll always, I'll, I always post on there that I'm live. As, the same goes as Twitter. If I ever go live or ever posting videos or anything like that. If you're following me on Twitter, then you'll get the notification, man. Notifications. Then I know it because you didn't get a notification. Let me have a look at that. Why did you? You didn't get a notification. Did someone just? I think someone just sent a donation. Give me one second. Oh look, there you go. There's our member, gold member as well. By the way, <laughs> how's it going, Dots? Good to see you, man. Um. I check after, man. I don't know. I don't know why you didn't. I don't know why you didn't get a notification. You should have done. I read that donation in one sec. Let me just quickly get this. So, those are unique. That's all right. Not really many tarpon though. I would have thought I would have had a lot more tarpon than what I've had so far. How are you feeling today, Dots? Do you feel better today, Dots? Or are uh, you still feeling a little bit... You're still feeling a little bit sicky. <laughs> okay, a donation from Dots. Ten, ten pounds from Dots and you'll... Thank you, Dots, man. Thanks for your donor. I appreciate it, man. Hope you had a good day yesterday. And you don't feel too rough today. <laughs> You're sweet. Oh, man. I'll, um, after I finish the stream, uh, I, need, I, need, I, need a, I need a chat to you. I was going to ring you, but I wasn't sure whether you was feeling too good, whether you was going to be still sleeping or what, so... Um, but yeah, after I finish this stream, I, I, I'm gonna ring you. I got something to tell you, man. <clears throat> Red drum. Red drum on on, uh, on the green crab. Nice. You pop down in a bit. All right, man. Be right back. Okay, Kenji. Um, what time are you coming, Dots? Are you eating dinner and stuff first, are you? Well, I gotta admit, I know it's been a while since I fished in this place, but we're like 5:44. We got 226 pound in the net. Not really tarpon, but that's not a bad amount of weight in the net considering considering the, the time. It's actually it's a, it's a good amount, but just no no tarpon. Don't know where they're all hiding out. You're not sure yet. Yeah, we're in tier four now. Yeah, tier four. Apparently, though, um, they said that people are still going to be people are still going to be able to to like go to work and stuff. So, so you should still be working. I don't think they're taking people off work. I really want to get a tarpon on that rod. If I do, I'm going to know about it. Not this one. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got a fi we finally got a tarpon on at last. But on that spinning rod, I really want to get a tarpon on there because that rod's not very good. It's going to be an insane fight. I don't even know if I'll be able to reel it in, but it'd be it'd be a good laugh to see. There we go. And there's the tarpon. I don't know what we haven't really had much interest over on this rod. So let me change the bait on that. <clears throat> hey, I'm back, Savage Films. Good to see you, man. I hope you had a good Christmas. We back. Morning, lads. T Money. Have you changed your name? Was your name T Bone? If it was, good to see you again, man. And uh, Merry Christmas. I might try. Mm, Where for catfish? 
Let me put on some large cut bait. Because I've got medium. <coughs> now I'm still working even though this locked down again. Yeah. I, I didn't... I didn't think they'd be stopping people. I don't know. They, they changed it from lockdown... Well, calling it from lockdown to... Um, to tears, didn't they? But apparently you can still... You can still... Um, go to work and stuff. But you're only allowed to see a certain set amount of people at one time kind of like in your bubble sort of thing so they say i did i got <laughs> got a new chocolate lab puppy beautiful man <clears throat> that's nice i'm a big dog fan myself i got a dog you're old your old chocolate lab died this summer. It's, br it's brilliant having dogs, but it's um, it's definitely painful when they're gone, that's for sure. Especially when you spend years of your life with them, obviously. You always wanted to catch up with your lives. Got tired of re-watching your old videos. Oh, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah i've been p putting out more videos recently obviously I, I, before i was streaming every day but i'm finding more success um through videos at the minute so that's just the that's the only that's the only thing like if i'm if i'm spending my time editing and making videos and creating them and then posting them and people are enjoying that compared to me doing a stream. I, say, I, still, I do like streaming. It's good. It's a good way to chat with you guys properly. It's also a, a very good way for me to earn some serious money back again when I do these updates. Fishing like this, I earn some serious money back. So it's good in that kind of sense for me. And obviously good for you guys because we get to chat properly. But if the videos are doing better... That's kind of what I, I got to put most interest to. But I am going to try and work out a schedule. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But like maybe from the 1st of January. I'll let you guys know. Um, a, a, a schedule time and day. Like I start streaming every week. But I don't know. I'm not going to do it every day like I was. Because the time that I put into videos. As I say they, they've been doing really well so. I caught world record fish in real life. You did? Oh, I don't know if I... Did I have something on there? I was looking at chat. I don't know. Or something was running onto it. But I understand the ratio of traffic versus a video. Yeah. Like, it's good because, like... You know, when people come into the stream, obviously I get to talk to them a bit better compared to leaving messages. And obviously other people can come and join whilst we're fishing. And, you know, there is perks of obviously doing the live streams. But if, I, if I'm putting like, like I was before, three, four hours plus every day into streaming. And... <sighs> You know, like, I, I get a lot of views, but it's not about the views. I don't look about... I, I'm not interested in view count or subscriber count. I'm just interested whether people enjoy what I'm doing. And people do enjoy the streams, but it seems like they definitely enjoy the videos even more, so... <clears throat> Drop me a text when you stop streaming and that. Peace out. Alright, Dots, no worries, man. Thanks for still being a member. Thanks for the support. I'll drop you a message after I finish. Well, that was a 30 pound tarp, and it's not as big as what I wanted it to be. I don't really want to get a unique on this, because I've only got 512 12 foot of line. I'm pretty sure if I got a unique tarpon on that spin rod... Ah, <sighs> uh, yeah, I think it'd probably, it'd probably work out as it ends up despooling. That's what I would have thought. Oh, we got, we got Black Drum on. This could be unique, you know. I think it is. They're using a really good rod. Oh, wow, it ain't unique. Okay. 
It was a good fight though, that one. Your channel is picking up more traffic through the videos. Yeah, it is. So I get definitely wider. Yeah. Like, I, I still am... I, 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 it's kind of hard because I, I would like to stream every day and post out a video every day like I was before. But it's really... It really is quite draining when you're doing it solo. Like, if you've got someone to help you out to manage to edit your videos and stuff, then it's not so bad. But for me, you know, I'm... <sighs> I'm making the video myself, I'm editing the video myself, and I know my edits are not the very best, I'm going to be honest, but it still takes time. It takes time for me to edit videos, put, make videos, put them together, and then I then have to work really hard, earning that money back for the next update. So it's, it's a continuous grind, but good fun at the same time. Never mind. Yeah, I thought that was going to be unique. I really did. You play on PS4 Pro? I um, I play PS4 Slimline. I was going to get the Pro, but when I when I tried getting it, every time I tried to get it, it was out of stock. And every time I went to the shop, the, they only had the Slimline one every single time. So in the end, I just. Uh, in the end, I just thought I'm just gonna go with that. I couldn't, I couldn't be bothered to wait for the pro. I would, I, I would have preferred it to be honest, because obviously, I would get better FPS and better pitch quality, that kind of thing. But yeah, it's alright. Eventually, hopefully, we'll be getting a PS5 once the um, once they get some back in stock. That is. How's it going, D2? Good to see you, man. Hope you had a good Christmas. You love the grind. <laughs> Yeah, I can't deny. Sometimes I do. Sometimes it's not too bad. Sometimes, but it's just like sometimes. Obviously, I'm doing the same thing over and over and over, and it does get. I wouldn't say boring, but it does get a bit hard work. Oh, look at that! He just had a. Oh, he didn't even. Oh, okay, he did. Oh, now I'm too close to him. Hold on. There you go. He's got a black drum, a unique black drum, eighty-two pound. Nice. I jumped into the boat. For you guys that uh, come here regularly, you know you know why I done that. Um. All right. Yeah. Let's go to the next day. I like this as well. This little added feature here, like that they did here, like that. That is pretty awesome. I do. I, I definitely do like that. Sometimes it's those little them little updates that are the better updates <sighs> wish I could fish with you if you're on PC you could right now I did actually the other day I did just randomly randomly went onto PS4 I don't have on there I don't have premium but yeah I just randomly went on there and I thought well I'm always grinding out here so I should start earning some money on the on the PlayStation as well so Every now and again, you can always keep an eye out. If you got me added on PlayStation, you can always keep an eye out for whenever I am online. Obviously, I do. I'm pl obviously I play live, but I do also play um, just random rooms sometimes as well, even when I'm not live. If you do catch me. Maybe you have a Pro Slim as well. Oh, you're on Xbox. Uh, yeah, I still haven't quite got round to that. I really don't know how I would... I do really want to go, go on to Xbox, so that way I, so I can say to people that I play on Xbox, PC, and, and PS4, but it's so hard for me to get that third account in because it's just so expensive. Buying DLCs and the grind on the on PC, and then the grind on Xbox, and then the grind on PS4. I really do want to, but I'm gonna. Be, I, I think if I do, I, I I don't know. I think maybe I might be pushing my my limits too far. <laughs> I, I will I will attempt it one day. I keep saying it, but that could be a New Year's resolution. 
I'll have to start from level one. Start all over again. Yeah, that would that would definitely take a short minute. So did everybody get did everybody get what they wanted for Christmas? Basically Microsoft. Yeah, well I don't have Xbox, but I could play I could play it on Xbox through the through the PC app of Xbox if that makes sense. You got Xbox on PC, so I could play it through that way. So I don't actually even need to go and buy an Xbox, I can just play it from the Xbox store. The, yeah, the grind on PS4 is ridiculous. It, it is on PC as well, man, when you're starting from the beginning. Like, I've started this game from the beginning four times over from the beginning. And it's not, it's not fun. It's not too bad when you get to about level 20. But for the beginning of it, in all honesty, yeah, it's not fun. It's not, it's not, it's not good. It's not something that I like to, like to do, but I had to start my account again over because um, on PS4 it signed out. Once before it signed out of PS4. And I couldn't remember the password to get back in. And then I ended up having an account on, on Steam. And I, I can't remember why I ended up making a new account for Steam, but I did. So I so yeah, started this game four times from the beginning so far. But I do Xbox. That's going to be five times me starting from level zero. What a grind. I think really with this game, they're obviously not going to do it because they earn more money by the way it's set up. But it would be so much better if they did the game as cross-platform. Uh, for me, it would be absolutely awesome because I would just I would just choose a certain account, probably the the PC account I'd choose because I've. But then I do have quite a few few bits and pieces and DLCs and stuff on the PS4 so I don't I don't know which account yeah I don't know what account I would choose to um, to keep permanently but it would be nice if I could fish off the same account and then that way when I'm playing PS4 you know I know that I'm earning the money for the PC and then obviously updates always drop on PC first rather than the PS4 so it would be good if they made made it multi uh, cross platform and the updates drop all at the same time for for everything because when the updates drop obviously I let you know about it on PC let you know what the update is going to be and stuff and then I then have to then let you know about it for the PS4 and the Xbox so it's a lot of checking and a lot of time I have to put into it, it sounds silly but it is many many hours of research basically I do use float rods, yeah. They're alright. I've actually got the, uh, the spell launcher there. That's one of the best float rods. That's really good. I haven't got the, the Majesty up, the other rod. I haven't got that on me. I just mainly use... I'm just using these rods specifically just because that's what... That's what I was using last. Obviously, I bought, I bought these part of the new update that came out for the Maroon River. They're really good rods. I don't know if you've got one yourself, but they are. They are really good. Even catching the um, catching the catfish, they are pretty good for that. He leveled up. He ranked up. Oh, he's ranked 9 now. Yeah, I honestly think he's going to overtake my rank. He's really been grinding it out really a lot recently. He's ranked 9. What am I... Rank 19. He's only 10 ranks away. I reckon he is. I reckon he is going to overtake me. I go through bursts of stages of this game. Where I put an insane amount of hours in. And then sometimes I 
I kind of just give myself a break. When I say a break, it's only like a day or two. It's not. It's not anything too much. But yeah, sometimes, uh, sometimes I need to take a bit of a time out, sort of thing. Uh, let me catch up with the chat. I'm trying to grind until I get to level 40, 41 for the keep net. The the keep net that I got, uh, you got the the two biggest, which is the one that I'm using now, 1,100 pound, and then you got the one that's 888 pound, I think it was. To be honest, I don't really think there's even a reason why you would need a net at 1,100 pound. The one that's 880 is fine. And it's definitely a lot cheaper to repair the, the £880 net compared to this one. When I have to repair this one, it costs me nearly nearly 100000 cash sometimes. That's quite a bit of money. you level 36 at the moment. That had the game forever. That's sad. It's not... It. When I first started playing the game, man, I, I, I weren't very really good at it, I'm going to be honest. And... It took me a long time to level up. It took me a long time to catch fish, that kind of stuff. And then I started to realise a pattern where you can catch fish in certain spots. And there's certain ways to catch them, certain baits and stuff. Some, you know, my dad's played it for the same amount of time as me. And he used to play it as a fisherman. And it don't work like that, to be honest. Obviously, however you play is completely your choice. But it is a game, and if you play it as a gamer, it will be rewarding. If you're trying to play it like a fisherman, it doesn't work out too well, to be honest. You know, he used to play it like a fisherman. I used to play it like a fisherman, and it just, it just doesn't seem to, yeah, it's a slow pace. It's not fun. But if you play it as a gamer, and you work out certain things. It makes a big difference in your in your gameplay. Like if if you're playing the game and you cast anywhere and you don't know there's a hot spot, you're not going to catch fish. Well, you will catch, but it's going to be a very very slow pace. It's not going to be fun. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what we used to do. We used to just get into a lake, uh, lake, and just we start fishing and just yeah, we used to play it like a fisherman, and it doesn't it doesn't seem to to work like that too well. Um, been lacking. Nightbot deleted Kenji's message for some reason. We'll be on after watching Bubbles for a few. I am. Wow. Well, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know what Nightbot did. I. I didn't see. I didn't see it. Really want to get this rod stand? Yeah, it's a lot better, man. Back in the day, when this game first came out, <laughs> I was so glad when they had the rod stand because you used to just stand there with one rod in your hand. Like, you are on a boat, pretty much. You have the one rod in your hand, and that is all you can do. You can only have the one rod, and it's, it's terrible when it's like that because it's so hard work to... To catch at a fast pace like how I'm catching now compared to like obviously I could catch fast by fishing in a boat but by doing it this way my odds uh, are a lot higher I can catch at a lot faster pace by bait fishing as well as lure rather than just lure you got max drag found it back so now I have it on fishing planet yeah uh, that's what I'm using, Max Drag. Oh, look at that. He just had uh, a unique red drum. He's doing better than me today. I've had a couple of uniques, but not the one not the one that I'm looking for. Um, well, you can still use Max Drag. Okay, I thought that was going for my lure. Yeah, you can still use max drag, but you can't stop it from you can't stop it from running, so it's still gonna pull out line. But it's still a good idea to use max drag anyway, just because you're putting the maximum strain on that rod and reel to try and hopefully give you that chance to 
to reel in that lot a bit quicker with a bit of luck. Hopefully. But yeah, you can't stop the fish from running now. There is no possible way to to stop it. You can max out your rod and reel, but it will run no matter what. Whether you max drag or not max drag, it's going to pull out a ton of line. That's kind of why I like these rods. I know they're really heavy duty, but that is why I like these rods quite a lot. Because these, because they're so strong, they still, it still does pull out line. It definitely still pulls out line, but it seems like you don't have to reel in for as long. If I was using a heavy chaser and I was catching the catfish in Maroon River, it'd probably take me about 15 to 20 minutes to reel it in. Whereas if I'm using this rod in my hand, it would be anything between five to seven, eight minutes ish, probably something like that. So, yeah, it's definitely, um, they definitely, you notice the difference in that kind of sense. I was so annoyed with the max drag when they added it. It it did frustrate me big time, but as time's gone on, because they're really good rods, they. It kind of makes up for itself. You have to learn to adapt. I don't like adapting to no drag. <laughs> I prefer to stop it. I, I was hoping that maybe the, like they would bring a switch or something, so you can choose whether you use match drag or not. Which that would be, that would be so great if you could choose that. But unfortunately, yeah, you can't. Uh, no, I'm not using bottom sniper. I have used a bottom sniper though before. They're pretty good good rods they're fun they are actually pretty fun rods to use when you're catching big fish and you use those they are pretty fun I, I quite like them the fish can't go away it's stuck at my reel I can stop it from running can you I can't I can't that they took that out oh I missed it they took that out, so now you can't stop it from running. There's nothing you can do. What's the max bottom sniper rod? Mm. I don't know, actually. I haven't looked. I'm not sure, man. By the top of my head, I'm not sure. Yeah, they could those up. Casador, Casador rod. Might actually jump over to Maroon River in a moment. I really like that place just because the uh, the cash feels like it's faster, and I'm, that's what I that's what I need at the minute. Cash. Hey, bubbles! I haven't seen you in a while, man. I haven't seen you too, Game Boys. How's it going? I hope you had a good Christmas. Don't forget to drop a like on the stream, guys, as well. Let's us know you're still enjoying Fishing Planet. Currently, I'm at 30-ish. Oh, was snook. I spent three days here. Had a couple of tarpon. No unique tarpon. Normally, if I'd come here in three days, I'd get a tarpon every a unique tarpon every day. Definitely been nerfed. Okay, I'm uh, I'm gonna head over to Maroon Maroon River Pop. If you want to come, you're more than welcome. If not, I'll uh, I bid you a good day, sir. Permit. used to be able to catch those as well as unique on bait but they changed that as well so now you can only catch those with the with the lure oh wow red drum it's actually jumping out a little bit unique best hook size in this lake is eight I always use hash six man just it's an optimal hook so that's just what I always use. Even when I'm catching the massive Arapaima or this lake or any other lake. If I'm going for big fish, I always go for the hash six slash zero. I have tried the nine hook and stuff before and I've tried seven. But yeah, six just always seems to be 
the optimal size, the perfect size that works really well. It, by using a bigger hook, obviously, you are going to avoid some of those smaller, those smaller fish, but I'm okay with it. Okay, so to repair the net, it's not quite halfway, and that's 41,000. Yeah, to own that net is definitely not, is definitely not cheap, that's for sure. Uh, let me buy a license. Oh, uh, buy a license. There we go. I just want to have a quick look in here really quick as well. Let's see if there's anything new they've added. Probably not, I don't think. Yeah, I get I get some blue screens on this game a few times. It's a pain, but it, it happens. As far as the bottom sniper go, let's play for money. Hi, Merry Christmas. Hope you had a good one. I did, man. I was very worn out. I was meant to do a stream and actually fell asleep editing videos. That's how good it was. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you had a good one as well. You're level 55 finally. Keep on the grind, game boys. You'll get there, man. Keep on the grind. Okay, don't look like they've really added anything new there, but I just wanted to have a quick look just in case. But the travel cost is cheaper. Maroon River. Let's go. <coughs> Merry Christmas, by the way. Yeah, I hope you had a good. I hope you had a good day, Game Boy, as well. Hope you had a good one. Mm. Oh, I think I'm just gonna go to the to the hot spot. I need to I need to get that cash flow up again. After 65 level, I lost interest in this game. There's always something to do, man. You, there's always something to do. Like it, it, I'm level 65 on PS4. I'm level 65 on PC. So on two different accounts, I'm max level. But there's still, there's always something. You know, there's always going to be something for you to that you can do. So, like, have you completed every mission? Have you completed every fish monster mission? Have you completed all the Christmas missions? Uh, because they bring them updates out, they're pretty cool when them updates come. Because, you know, that keeps you busy, gives you something different to do. Where's the present in this place? There is a present in here, isn't there? I'm sure of it. There must be, because there's a jukebox there. Mm. 1,700 bait coins without buying packs. Oh my gosh. Have you done the bark collectible? Um, yes, I have. I've actually got a video on that um, collecting bark. I made a video on it. You could check it out, man. It'll probably help you. Uh, let me just quickly catch up with chat real sick, real quick. See, uh, oh, you're off game, boys. I'll catch you in a bit, man. Uh, what's say? Uh, oh. I need motivation. Is why I like watching you guys, your your channel. <laughs> I need that sometimes. Everyone needs that. I feel like everybody needs that occasionally. It's nice to have a. Oh, I can't stand on there. Yeah, everyone needs a little bit of motivation sometimes. I, I get like that occasionally, and um, Mrs. Bubbles is pretty good with that. She sometimes I, I say, you know, I, I don't feel like editing videos today or. I don't feel like doing making any videos and she says to me no you started that you created that channel now you got to stick with it you can't you can't back off you have to you have to keep doing it you have to be can you know you have to be constant keep putting that content there keep giving people a reason to come back and watch and can be hard can be hard work sometimes but yeah she does she is good for support like that there's been quite a few times where I've I felt like I didn't really want to stream or didn't really want to make videos and stuff, and she helps me. Where the world is the present in here? Mm. Yep, yeah, on the fisherman's fishing planet. Love your videos. They help me through. through aha. <laughs> yeah, that is a Sam Bagasy's a interesting lake. It really is. 
It's, it's strange. Sometimes when I go there, it works really well. Sometimes when I go there... <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know where the present is. Um, let me check over here. Ah, oh, there we go. We got it. Let's see what we get. Oh, cookies. you got to be joking. I'll tell you what. For next year, if it's the same, if it's the same thing... The catching certain fish with that with them baits. I've I've got a ton of those baits left, and I've still collected loads more of those baits from from other things as well. So it'd be pretty cool. Did my dad come into here? No, I think he I think he's stuck. I think he's stuck where he was. <clears throat> uh, every unique gives me around forty to eighty bait coins. Oh wow. I thought about getting it, but because they're so behind on the updates compared to the actual fishing planet, that kind of kind of put me off a little bit. I'm going to be honest. And then um, they're kind of slow pushing out the updates on there, even though it's a paid version, which I understand um, that they put the updates out first on fishing planet rather than on there, because this game was technically it's free and it was there a long time before. A long time before the fisherman's fishing planet so and there's nothing better than a free game you know everyone everyone likes that stuff so that's free i'm gonna go to the side i'm not gonna be a pain and get in his way if he gets too busy i can always go into my own room <clears throat> cool thanks you need to show me some techniques you're trying to join me a few days ago I was searching something in YT and now I find you in my recommendation. Well, if you find me in your recommendation, man. Thank you and thanks to YouTube as well. That's that's good, man. It means that I'm whatever I'm doing, I'm doing I'm doing something right somehow. <laughs> yeah. It's always a good thing when people tell me that they're finding me in in their notifications. That's that's good means that YouTube are, are doing a good job. Mm, I don't know what, what other bait should I put on there. Maybe I might actually just leave the crawfish. That would be alright. Hopefully I'm not not annoying that guy there. Some people get really, really angry when you fish near them. Actually, the other day I was making videos and stuff. And I had to, I had to go on. You know, so it, if you get too close, it makes the person go invisible like this so you can't see the person i had to do that the other day because it got so crowded i i couldn't even see my rods i'm not even joking there were so many people fishing around me i was just randomly just fishing just playing as normal it wasn't i wasn't streaming or anything just fishing as normal and i started catching a few fish and there was like six people around me at first there was no one but yeah, I started catching fish, and then there was like six people around me, and it got insanely busy. Well, we got a fish on already. I didn't even get the full rod out, so that's pretty good. <clears throat> Trying to fill up my net. Emerald is a great place to farm. Yeah, it is. It's a good, good place for pike. I like Rocky Lake better because of the unique... Yeah, Rocky Lake's nice as well. For a low-end lake, it's actually a pretty decent lake. Looks nice, but you do catch at a pretty fast pace. Would you restart to level 1 again? <laughs> well, I have restarted to level 1 four times from the beginning. Four times over creating new accounts. I probably am going to start um, level one again. But I, d I just don't know when. It's hard for me to get the time because it's not just time. But it's money, like real money as well. You know, I buy when updates come out. I buy the DLCs to get into the new lakes and I buy new packs and stuff. I do that on PC and I do it on PS4. So it's quite expensive. But then I buy premium for PS4 and for PC. Again, that's quite expensive. So for me to do it for Xbox as well, 
it's just going to cost me even more money and the grind's going to be that hard that much harder because i'll have to put time into free accounts so i do plan on i do plan on um doing xbox at some point i definitely do plan on it but yeah it's, it's gonna be it's not gonna be easy that's for sure it's not gonna be easy on my wallet <laughs> and it's not gonna be easy on me as well it's gonna be very 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 time consuming but We had a rod stand set up like you have on that <laughs> moose lake forever. Yeah, I like fishing. I like fishing there as well. White moose, nice place. Do you like noodles? Yeah, I like noodles, man. They are one of my best friends because I don't really, you know, me living by myself. Well, me living with my dog. I um, I don't really like. I don't mind cooking for loads of people when people come round, friends come round, that kind of thing, family and that. But for myself, I don't really enjoy it. For myself, I just... I do something quick, like a pizza, or... A quick salad, or noodles, something like that, yeah. But I, I, I do actually really enjoy cooking, but... Only for more than one person. It's kind of... Seems a bit pointless just cooking for just one person, really. You do? Yeah, the, this is Maroon River. Uh, you got to be level 63 to get into this place, man. Level 63. Uh, well, unless you buy the DLC. If you buy the DLC, you can get in there. You can get in straight away, but level 63 otherwise. The one good thing is, though, like, I know the DLC only gives you seven days to fish in this place. Real time, seven days. But, um, the one good thing from it, in those seven days, not only you get a boat and rod and that kind of stuff, but, you would get some absolutely insane amount of XP and cash. Like, if you're low level and you bought this DLC, you would definitely level up really quick. It's a shame that it only gives you seven days. But if you're not busy and you're not doing anything, to buy the DLC is definitely recommended. I'm not sponsored by Fishing Planet in any sort of way to say that. It's just my personal opinion, that's all. I don't get paid to say that. It's just my opinion. I honestly do think this DLC is one of the best ones out there the very best one's probably the salt water pack for blue crab island i think that's the best one but yeah this one for seven days shame it don't give you more if it gave you more it would this one would definitely be the best just because of how how much xp and how much cash you can earn from this place in one day in one day if i work hard um keep playing for a roundabout about 14 to, to 16 hours ish I can earn a million I can earn a million cash in a day easy sometimes more than that it all depends on where I'm fishing and what I'm fishing for obviously Travel costs is so much, gonna barely afford the line. Yeah, I've had times like that, man. But over over time, the more you play the game, you end up getting so much money, you don't really know what to do with it. In my case, you know, I do have a lot, two mil. But my dad, he's got, um, you know, he's really into carp fishing, so he's got all the carp rods and stuff. He's got these rods as well. He bought those recently. But he's got like over 6 million cash. And that's because he's just buying stuff for the game. That's it. Whereas if for me, I'm... Because I'm making content for YouTube, it does cost me a lot of in-game money because I have to continuously keep grinding, keep showing how to catch certain fish, doing missions and showing new lakes. So it does, it does get expensive for me buying all those new rods. Like there was a couple of rods that I did buy... Um, in the past, it's happened quite a few times. I brought a few rods, and I don't even want that rod, and I'm never going to use that rod again. I just brought that rod and reel specifically just for a video, just to show people. You know, 
me myself, I didn't I didn't want the rod, I didn't like the rod, and I think that was um I can't even remember now actually. I think it was a spinning rod if I'm if I'm correct. It was a certain yeah, it was uh the spinning rod with the with the multiplier reel. That's what it was. Really didn't like that. Just because it, it just you couldn't you can't max it out. Yeah, I really didn't like it, so but I ended up buying it just because it was new and I wanted to make a video from it to show people but kind of a waste of money because I brought it made that video then I ended up selling it your battery is dying <laughs> catch you on PS4 later okay to your money have a good one man thanks for dropping by Level 51 and fishing in UK. Yeah, UK is really nice, man. I loved that place when that DLC dropped. You can get a serious amount of carp there. I thought that was honestly going to be bigger than that. Oh, that went down the wrong hole. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that, excuse me. <coughs> Somebody, I was reading that chat there. <coughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move that chat. <coughs> that made me laugh. Oh, wow. Sorry about that. <coughs> <clears throat> I hate that when you drink something and it goes down the wrong side. Oh, don't feel good. Catch two hundred pounder here. That, that, I think the biggest they go up to in here is like one hundred and sixty-three, one hundred and sixty-four. The biggest I've ever had. I think that's the biggest they go up to in here. I was way my noodles are hot. No, they, you like spicy noodles. You like, you, are you into spicy food, are you? I quite like spicy food, man. Like insanely hot. I was playing only two games really much. GTA. Oh, man. I still play GTA. Even though it's been out for a long time. I can't wait for GTA 6. That will be awesome. <coughs> Corona, coronavirus. Uh, okay, because I was coughing. <laughs> All right. Greetings from the Netherlands, but you already know. I actually do remember. I actually did remember that you were. Surprisingly, but I did. I saw on the leaderboard someone caught a 220 pounder. You can catch 200. I think my biggest was like 220. 220 pound and a half or 221 and a half something like that I can't remember I made a video of it but of these catfish they don't go any bigger than the <clears throat> uh, biggest catfish 170 pound okay so a little bit bigger than what I thought but they don't go I'm pretty sure they don't go more than that not in this place anyway uh, fish um, location there we go I bet it's going to be right at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, 176 pound is the biggest fish caught in this place. Which biggest I've caught is 170. So not a, not a lot of difference. <clears throat> Still though, they do fight really, really well. They're definitely... <laughs> they definitely do fight really good. Spicy food is the best without drinking. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I don't ever drink if um if I'm eating eating any type of spicy food, man. It doesn't. It definitely doesn't help in any sort of way. It does not help. If anything, it probably makes it worse. 
<clears throat> Do you use food like catfish killer or something? No, I don't know. I think I picked that up uh, too early. I could use ground bait. I don't really bother. There is actually... Um, oh, i got to show you this. This is pretty cool. i got to show you something. Um, that's the biggest fish in this place, yeah. Arapaima, they go up to like 222. <laughs> but in this place, yeah, 176 pound is the, is the biggest catfish in this place. They're not as big as obviously the other place as Maku, but the XP and the cash is so much more in this place. Like insane, insane amount of difference. Big difference. Use catfish to destroy. 13 pound setup. Catching sturgeon on fishing on the fishermen's. Where do you catch Arapaima? I did make a video on it, man. Um, but Arapaima and Maku Lake, you go in the lake. <clears throat> if you spawn off from the dock where the boats are, and then go right. Keep following the bank. Keep following the path all the way around uh, the trees and stuff. Keep following it all the way up on the right until you get to a little spot where you can actually stand. And then when you get to that spot, there's some lily pads there and some bits of wood broken trees sticking out of the water that's an absolute amazing hot spot but I did make a video on it if you if you don't really understand <clears throat> if you don't understand what I mean yeah I really want to quickly just show you something real quick so look at this didn't actually realize this I actually completely forgot about this but I actually got a catapult <laughs> from doing the Christmas missions I got the I got the uh, snowman cap I made a video on that uh, we got a video on how to get the snowman's headlight, and then Santa's, um, that's actually called Santa's, Santa's headlight, headlamp, should I say. Yeah, then the Santa's glasses, all of the uh, missions for the Christmas missions, we completed all of those, look. The last two is just those fish, but I bought DLCs. I did catch some of the first, the gobby fish, and then for these last two, I didn't bother with those because I was just too busy making other videos. All normal missions I've completed now. Look at that. I've got one video left of a mission to post out. I've got to edit that. And then the fish monster missions. <clears throat> I've been really busy doing fish monster missions as well. So I've nearly completed all of those. And then we'll have every single mission on Fish and Planet on the channel, which would be pretty cool. I just remembered I caught a kind of catfish and... Uh, where was I reading? Sorry, I was looking at the rod. Hmm, where was I? I don't even know at this point. Let me read there. Crank crankbaits are really good for catfish. I have actually caught um on the hunch runner. On the hunch runner, I've, I've caught a couple of catfish here. Cool, this one's running really well. Oh my gosh. Well, they're really going. I'm going to stick with the rod in my hand. It's, it's a hard choice sometimes when it's like that. Because one of those fish there could be a bigger fish than the one that I've got in my hand. But when you fish in this place, you're definitely going to lose more fish than what you catch. It's just a fact, unfortunately. There's not much you can do about it. <clears throat> Just want to thank you for your help and the very good tips. I'm, a, I'm subscribed for three to four years. And I really enjoy your videos. Keep up the grind. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, Kenji. Bella, hello. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Open feeder. I did a 60G. Casador. God, since that coffee went down the wrong place, don't feel good. <laughs> I said that before. Like it, it would. I don't know if it could be if it would make things good or whether if it, whether it would be like make it a little complicated. But I did think about that before. Like 
if they add an update where you can get someone who's standing next to you to pick the rod up for you. Like, they look at your rod and they request to pick it up and you give them permission, yes or no, whether to pick them up. Like, do you think that would be a good idea? I feel like it would kind of be a good idea because you could get more fish that way, but in some way, someone could be a pain and kind of just run off with your rod. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how I don't know how it would work, but I think it would be a good idea though if you could get someone else to to pick it up. This one's definitely running good. I don't think it's unique though, to be honest, because if it was, I'm pretty sure it would have took a lot longer. I'm pretty sure it would have took longer than this to reel in. <coughs> oh, that coffee really done me. Let me drink some more. <laughs> <clears throat> there we go. That might help. This trophy, maybe. It might be. The fish in this place, they do fight so well. So sometimes when you, your rod bends like this and it runs off like mad, sometimes it does, it's not even trophy. It's quite shocking sometimes. <coughs> <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm, I'm going to keep coughing now, aren't I? Sometimes this is where it can be the most trickiest part. When you get to like 20, 30 feet and it will fight you to the end of the earth. And I think that's pretty much what this one's about to do. By the looks of it. <laughs> I think that's red tail. Yeah, it is a red tail. That's definitely not unique. Oh wow. And it weren't too far off there. It was actually bigger than what I thought. I didn't think it was going to be that big. 105 pounds. I thought it would have had a lot more fight than that. Now, do I stick with this rod or do I pick that one up? Let me have a look. See, see which one's got the better fight. Hmm. Don't know. They're both probably about the same, aren't they? I think. Yeah, they're probably about the same. I have caught a Belga, yeah. Yeah. Nice fish, and they are absolutely... <laughs> absolute monsters. They are really big. <coughs> oh my gosh. Shame that you can't keep them, though. But yeah, they are really, really big fish. Nice looking fish. Glided cat. I'm sorry I couldn't share it that long, just because I, I want to try and get this one if I can. Uh, where'd you catch him? Mm, I think it was Actuba, Actuba River I caught there. I think, I think it was there. I'm pretty sure it was. <coughs> it was a short minute ago since, since I've caught one, but I'm pretty sure it was Actuba. Am I late? You are definitely not late, man. Better to be late than not to turn up at all. I actually didn't do too bad this day. 6.37. We got nearly 400 pounds in the net. Unfortunately, we got to replace those rods and set those out. Normally, it's what I do when I fish in this place. I will keep fishing in this place all the time it's a sunny day. Normally, from like 7 o'clock, that's where it changes. From 7 o'clock, it can then go to a cloudy day or sunny and cloudy or whatever. But I always fish till 7. Well, at least I try to. If, it, if, if the pace slows down or anything. Obviously, I then jump to the next day, which cost me bait coins. But that's fine because I spend my real money my actual for my actual pocket buying bait coins. So that way I jump days forward. So that way we keep... We keep catching at a fast pace, keep it entertaining. <coughs> K 
Can you try to catch one, please? The, the thing is, they don't let you keep them, so... Uh, really, it's only like an XP thing that you're doing. I have actually got a video of catching it, though, man. So, if you do need to... If you do want to catch it, just so that way you can see you've catched it, or you just need it for a mission or whatever. Um, there, there will be a video on the channel somewhere. Something about that fish. <coughs> oh my gosh, that coffee really did me. It's gonna, it's gonna keep doing that now, isn't it? I think I need to put into it probably about maybe maybe about another 11 hours 11 to 14 hours of, of more let's say about 14 hours more gameplay time once I do that I'll probably then be back to the amount of cash that I had before that Christmas update the grind is so real sometimes and I feel like this is definitely 100% true as well. Since they added that <laughs> the real drag where it keeps pulling out line and you can't stop it from pulling out line anymore. That definitely is 100% makes it a longer, slower, harder process for catching those fish. Because you can't stop it from running. You're spending so much more time trying to, trying to fight that one fish. Whereas if, if you can hold it in that one place wear it down that way. It was definitely a lot quicker. They kind of like that huge cut bait. They've been hitting on that quite a bit today. Normally, I I think it's normally the frogs or the, the crabs that they're normally really into, but today we're having some good sized fish on this huge cut bait. That's exactly why I use different baits sometimes. It's kind of hard in this lake to say that a certain bait is better than something else because there's so much that works. <clears throat> yeah. You could use fresh water prawns. Um, cut bait, medium cut bait, large cut bait, huge cut bait. All works really well. Frogs. Um, that, yeah. Duck muscle meat. There's so much stuff that works in this place. I can't actually say that a certain bait works better than something else because they all catch all of the baits that I use. They catch at a fast pace, and they all they all catch uniques as well. So you can't really say that one's better than another, really. Yeah, midwater's okay. Yeah. What is the difference? Mono leader, thirty-two kilogram fluorocarbon leader 32 kilogram well the fluorocarbon is meant to be invisible I say meant to be <coughs> they say that fluorocarbon is is invisible but I just I don't know why I just use mono leaders they just seem to mono leaders I don't know they I just I just feel like they work better in my personal opinion they might not but that's just just what just what's in my mind <laughs> how's it going era good to see you man i hope you had a good christmas yeah the the mono leaders i don't know compared to fluorocarbon i definitely i definitely am a fan of the mono leader though more I'm going to stick with the rod in my hand. I don't care about that one. This one is fighting well. Oh, wow. That's really running. There you go. Finally stopped it. When I was younger, I did. When I was younger, I used to fish a lot in real life. Almost every day. But when you have kids, and you do YouTube, <laughs> hard to get the time. Well, it's not impossible like I could, but... 
Yeah, I, I, a lot of my time obviously goes into my kids, and then a lot of time goes into into me making these videos. But I could always fish and make videos from doing that as well, of course. But it's just hard to get the time, especially even more so recently with the coronavirus and stuff. That kind of makes it impossible for anyone to do anything. And over here in the UK right now, it's our winter, so it's probably not the best time to fish, if I'm honest. Did you have a good Christmas, Sarah? How, how was your Christmas, man? <clears throat> does anyone catch European perch in real life? Yeah, my dad does a lot of uh, carp fishing, lakes. Not at the minute again because of the coronavirus, but he does. You ain't got the time anymore? Yeah, I don't really have the time. It's hard to get the time. <coughs> I keep saying that I was going to do a live stream though on fishing in real life. I, I, again, it will be something that I do do at some point, but it's just, it's the time. Oh, I'm going to rank up again today. Oh, okay, let's try this one, see which. Okay, so now I'm on a cloudy day. Once you get to 7 o'clock, as I said, that's when the day changes. That's not too bad though. From 5 till 7. <clears throat> And we got 5.45 in the net plus this fish on. Pretty good. <clears throat> £25, my personal best carp. That's not bad, man. I've never caught I've never caught a fish that big, so you do, you did something right. <laughs> large liver. Yeah, large liver works good. Um, chicken liver works good. There's so many baits here that works well, man. <clears throat> caught a Xander last week, 74 centimetres. You should do that. How is your line tension in the red? And don't break. It only works for YouTube streamers, man. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> it's called balancing. Or at least that's what I like to call it. It's basically where you get a rod and reel to match. Where you get a rod and a reel. And you get that reel to match that specific rod. And if you do that and you do it right, you can max it out. And then that way your line and stuff doesn't break. But yeah, it's just about balancing, learning the balance. Once you learn the balance, it's pretty it's pretty easy. But for example, I'll give you a quick rough drop down. So, okay, so for this rod, <coughs> the rod's 72 pounds, max line weight. I always go by the line weight. So the line weight, 72.7. This reel is at 70.5. So the reel is a little bit w weaker than the rod. If you do that and you always put stronger line on, the line's always got to be stronger than the rod. But, yeah, if the reel is a tiny bit weaker than the rod, you can use max drag and then it will stop it from snapping. Same goes as this rod for the heavy chaser. 59.5 max pound line and then the reel is a 58 pound, 58 pound max, max drag line. By doing it that way, by always making the reel that tiny bit weaker, will make it match that rod and you can then you can do same goes as your leader like the leaders are not very a very the as high as some of the line i think what's the highest leader i think it's 70 pound isn't it let me i'm sure it's 70 pounds yeah 70.5 the leader so for example on this rod i'd be using the 70 pound mono leader plus the 76.5 braid and that does work even though the leader is that little bit weaker but that is technically the the best leader that you can buy on the game or the most strongest leader that you can buy on the game as mono anyway obviously the titanium leaders go up to i think like 80 odd pounds ish but by using titanium leaders you do catch catfish at a slower pace and it works like that different for different fish <coughs> i noticed that before with tarpon if you're using um, if you're using mono leaders for tarpon, it works really well. You catch at a really fast pace, but if you use titanium leaders, it is insanely slow. Like the pace is absolutely, yeah, it's not good. It's, <laughs> it's not easy. That's great tip. Thanks. I balanced all my rods. Yeah. Well, 
if anybody don't understand how to balance it or how to do the max drag like that, I did actually do a stream once before dedicated to basically explaining different rods, showing different rods on how to how to use max drag max out your rod and reel like that without it snapping i did actually do a stream on it before but every now and again obviously i still have to mention it because there's still a few people who hasn't haven't seen that stream or who, who are new or yeah just don't just don't know but you can't stop it from running but it definitely makes it that little bit quicker for trying to reel in the struggle isn't as bad it's still a struggle but it's not as bad <coughs> Uh, what's the difference between a barbless hook versus normal hook? Only ex more XP. Yeah, it gives you a thirty percent more, or t no, ten percent. Sorry. Yeah, using barbless hooks, ten percent extra XP. I didn't know that for a long time. When I first played the game, obviously I've been playing for like nearly nearly five years. For the first two years, I had no clue of that. I had no idea. And there's still some people even now to this day. Who, um, who don't know where they've been for such a long time. They've been playing the game <clears throat> and they didn't know that barbless hooks are actually more XP. Yeah, I didn't know that for at least two years. And now level 64, so you can come and fish in here, Error. You can come and fish with me now if you want, man, if you're not busy. <clears throat> mm, I'll find that video, thank you. No worries, man. You're welcome. I was having some issues with Fishing Planet. Kept getting disconnected. Did you really? I haven't had that. I haven't had that problem. My problem on Maku Lake is that I'm level 36 and my max setup was 25 kilogram. Sometimes you have to just make, make do with what you got, man. <laughs> I've caught some really big fish, though. And I have caught them on weaker rods. Like, obviously, I have caught some of the big fish on the best rods. But I have also caught some weaker fish. Uh, weaker fish, sorry. Weaker rod. I have, you know, weaker setup. I have caught some big fish with the the weaker gear. It's just that little bit more... That little bit more time-consuming. It just takes that, that little bit longer to reel in and... <clears throat> Some people don't mind that though. Some people don't mind fighting the fish for, for like 20, 30 minutes real time. For me, yeah, sometimes I don't mind. Sometimes I do. It depends. If I've been fishing for, like if I've been playing the game for 12 hours plus in one day and it's taken me nearly like 10, 15 minutes to reel in a fish, <clears throat> it does weigh you down a little. Me too, I know, like a month ago. I make it finish all quests on Maku. Yeah, I think I've done all the quests on there. They're all complete. But it was hard. Is your leader 200 centimeters? Or are you cutting some? No, it's just... Um, I, I just leave it how it is, man. I'll show you it again in a moment. But I, I just leave it how it is. This one's really giving me a good run for my money, this one, for sure. I didn't actually think, to be honest, before I even started up a stream, I thought to myself, are, are people even gonna, are people even gonna join? Are people like, are they even gonna watch today? They might be too busy. I'm actually quite surprised that we even have the amount that we have I didn't think I didn't think there'd be that many I guess Boxing Day is kind of like a chill day isn't it for, for most people I guess it means you don't have to cook dinner you don't have to run around doing anything you just get to just get to have a, a lazy chill day hey bubbles I'll fish with you I'm in the same time as you you're more than welcome, man. Come and join. They're going to go after Blue Crab Island. And which level I need to be. Mm. 
Um, well, you could go to Maku, or you could even come to this place, Maroon River. But obviously, the the Maku is a is a lower level lake compared to this one, so I'd probably I'd probably head there to be honest. Oh gosh, that's running like crazy. What's your personal best on Maku for Payra? Um. Well, I don't know because I did that mission. So I think it was like seventy-six pounds ish, eighty pounds, something like that. There's actually a mission to catch um, Payra, fish monster mission, in in that place. And I think it was like I'm sure it was like was it seventy-six pound? I don't know. Seventy-six pound comes to my head. Could be that. I could be wrong. I would join you, but I'm level twenty-five. That's right, man. There's always another time. I don't always fish in the better lakes. Sometimes I do drop back to them lower end lakes so that way subscribers can fish with us. Just today, I, I have to fish this place today. I need to earn that money back. Ready for the next update. My room is full, is it? Oh, yeah. I can't see because I took it off, didn't I? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. I, I'll um, I go into a new room in a moment. Are you going to come and join me then? Oh, oh yeah, error. You managed to get on. Do you know what? There's quite a few places to catch that fish. The wolf fish. I caught it over near the green boat. I also caught one here as well. Just in front of me. Using um, using crankbait. Like there is there is a couple of hot spots where I've shown shown hot spots in this place. There's three good hot spots that I found. There is a few others. There definitely is quite a few going up and down those little little paths on the map, but it means I can only fish off the boat on some of the other some of the other hot spots. These ones, the one that I'm fishing now, obviously I get to stand on the bank, whereas if the other ones, yeah, I have to be on the boat, which is a, a shame really. But I, I hope that at some point they really need to add that, add it so you can put the rod stand on the boat or even add. It. Buy something so you can put it onto your boat to then at least put one rod out. I'd be happy with that. One rod, like on a rod stand and one, one in your hand, messing around spinning. At least that, but... Yeah, I've also caught Unique Payra from, from this location here as well. Unique Payra. Um, there was also another spot over the other side. The middle of the island, you turn right. And then you got that. Um, you got like a big rock in the, in the middle of the water there as well. That's, uh, I've also had a couple of uniques there. <clears throat> You'll be on my right in a sec. Yeah, this room's full, so I'll, I'll go to a I'll go to a friend's only room in a moment. Yeah, it would be nice. I I, I did hear on. On the fisherman's fishing planet, apparently on there, that you can actually, you can actually put rod stands on. Again, I don't know because I've never, I've never played it. But apparently, you can. You can actually have rod stands on your boat or rod holders. Sixteen <clears throat> k for for one fish. That is, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I had a. Um, I think it was like nearly 20,000 XP before and I think like 19,000 something odd cash for for one fish. Obviously that was when, before I started grinding them loads. The more you catch the same fish over and over. Um, okay, let me go to new friends room only. There we go. But yeah, when the more you catch the same fish over and over, you get less XP and less cash. So... It is a little bit, is a little bit of a pain in that kind of sense, but yeah, I think um, nearly twenty thousand XP I had, or just a fraction under twenty thousand XP from one fish. That is absolutely, that's absolutely bonkers. Like if you're interested in, like if you're max level, and you are really interested in having a high level rank, 
this place is going to do that. This place is definitely going to make you rank up really, really quick. It really is. But for me, as I mentioned before, rank's not too important for me. Just because I play on two different accounts. If I was on the one account, then I probably would concentrate on ranking. But I'm not, unfortunately. Oh, okay, I got the headlight on. I wonder what's going on. There we go. Error's come to join. It's been a short minute since I actually fished with your error. It's been a long time, man. So I'm glad that you managed to get back on. <clears throat> yeah, okay, I see you there. Um, I'm not on PS4 today. Today I'm on PC today. Maybe on the Bass Boat because they have a platform. Yeah, I feel like they could definitely... On that bass boat, I definitely feel like at the front there's enough room. There is definitely enough room to put a rod stand down. Even if you didn't use the four rod stand and you just use even a minimum of like one rod or two. There is definitely enough room for it. Maybe one day they might. I hope they do. I hope they do that. Add rod stands and add somewhere where we can fish. I don't know. Somewhere out in the ocean, Atlantic or something like that, catch some some big fish. I definitely want. I know they did the salt water, obviously the blue crab, but I want them to do deep sea fishing out in the ocean, kind of type thing. You know, they're like proper fishing boats and stuff. That'd be really cool. Maybe one day. You never know. A lot of people do ask for it, and they are pretty good at listening to the community. So maybe maybe one day they might. It's possible. I used to drink a lot of Jack Daniels back in the day era. Not so much now. <laughs> I would come here, but I don't have rods like you. They're just going to snap. You could, you don't necessarily have to catch these fish. Like, you can catch smaller fish, so... You don't... Yeah, it doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be big fish that you go for. Sometimes you can catch smaller fish. Sometimes it's actually easier to do that. To catch smaller fish and fill your net up that way. My music. Let's stop. Give me one sec. Is that, is that it now? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I ended up pressing the wrong button and took a screenshot instead. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> Anyone here? The fisherman. Do you know what is? Do you know what is the Boba? Boba name? Make a sound. They all they all make a sound, man. You just have to turn it on in the settings. They they all make sounds. Just you have to go into the settings and turn it on. It doesn't matter what Boba you have, as long as you got it turned on in the settings and then you'll always get that ding sound when when you get some interest with it I'll show you in a moment but yeah it's in the settings and I'm really so I am really surprised so many people turned up hope you guys all had a, a great Christmas and um, hopefully your heads don't hurt too much <laughs> Your girlfriend brought you a bottle for Christmas. That's nice, man. Always tastes that tiny little bit better, doesn't it, when you get it for free. <laughs> tastes that extra little bit better. Yeah, I'm not really a, I'm not really a big fan of drinking anymore. As I say, I, I, I did I did back in the day I did I did have my uh, my fair share, but it don't really it don't really interest me too much now. Like even for New Year's Day, like I, 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 I'm not really going to be drinking, so it doesn't really appeal to me. It did used to, but not so much now. When you have kids, priorities and many things change. Look at that! I got four hundred pound on that. We're at six o'clock. If it carries on like that, we're going to have a serious amount.
play games for 12 hours <laughs> tonight. It's time for a, <laughs> for a rest, yeah, I would say, man. Whew. Do you know what? Sometimes I, I when the updates drop, I'm, I'm staying awake for for more than 24 hours, sometimes like nearly 36 hours plus. I I don't mind because obviously I have, I've always had a sleep problem anyway, so it doesn't bother me too much, but definitely after an update drops and I'm putting out all them videos, and then I've finally shown hot spots and shown new missions and shown everything that I need to show. I lay my head on that pillow and I'm so tired, as soon as my head hit the pillow I could fall asleep. But it still don't work like that, even after, even after 36 hours of staying awake, and I lay down and my eyes, my eyes don't want to shut off. That's a shame. Do you know what? I wondered what was going on with that. I'm using a popper. That's why. I was meant to put on the um, the hunch runner. Let's put that on. Show you guys that it works. You can definitely get some unique payroll here. I don't know. We should be alright. It just depends on if them bait rods keep going off. Means that I don't get to I don't get to use this hunch runner as much as what I'd like to. How many kids do you have? Uh I got three three kids. And they all definitely keep me busy, that's for sure. <laughs> do you have any kids yourself? Especially with my medication, I don't drink much. Yeah. Well, drinking much, one, it's not good for you anyway, and two, it's expensive, man, so, um, yeah. And thanks for the tips, no worries, man, you're welcome. Become a member, oh, there you go, talking about a member. There's one of our members just turned back up again. How long are you streaming for? Until you turn up, Dot, so at least I was going to wait for you to turn up, depending on how long you're going to be. If you're going to be another four hours, or then probably not that long, but... <laughs> yeah, I was waiting. I was waiting for you. Have you had your dinner yet? Oh, you haven't got any kids, ever? I actually thought you did, man. I thought you did. And you haven't got any kids, either, Lucas. I haven't had my dinner yet. Yet, nah. I, I'm streaming, haven't I? So, I haven't had a chance. This one's a good one. Again, on the huge cut bait. And they're liking that cut bait today. It is normally the crabs or the the fresh crabs or the or the frogs seem to be where you get the them big fish at a faster pace. As I say, loads of baits here work, but the frogs and the crabs are normally where you catch quickest but today seems like the huge cut bait's doing its job that's exactly why i always use different bait the freshwater prawns as well well yeah the freshwater prawns used to be really really good they still do work but i don't feel like they work as good as what as what they used to or as good as some some other stuff How's it going, Ethan? You're number one in the world for the the biggest wolf fish at the minute. 76 pound. I would enjoy that. I would enjoy that moment, man, because it won't last for long. <laughs> That's one thing about this game. It doesn't matter if you caught the biggest fish. There's always going to be someone else who ends up catching that one half a pound or a fraction bigger. I've noticed that. That always happens. There's been plenty of times where it's been like that. I've caught the biggest fish, and then there's always someone else who beats it. There's actually quite, it's quite surprising, but there is actually a really big, a massive, massive community, like millions of people that um, are playing every single day, and obviously everyone gets new records all the time. Sometimes they can be streamers and people who do YouTube and Twitch and stuff like that. The same as kind of like how I am, but. Sometimes they can also be just random people as well who don't don't make content and they just they're just playing the game for for the game because they enjoy it. That's it. 
not for content. A fishing planet should pay me. <laughs> I don't really want to be... Like, I have been offered before some kind of sponsors and stuff and um, a few other things. We ranked up. Rank 20. Yeah, I have been I have been offered different things before and, and different stuff, but I don't like to... I want to be my own person, you know? So, like, some sponsors are okay. Like, there has been a few that has come across and I've thought about it and I haven't done it, but if I'm sponsored by a certain company or something, I'd have to give my honest opinion. And because I like to always be honest no matter what, even if the honesty is not good and you don't like it, I still like to always give my honest opinion. For example, the Maku Lake DLC really didn't like that one. Would I recommend for someone to buy it? Definitely not. What about this this place, Maroon River? Would I recommend someone to buy the DLC? Yeah, I would. Whereas if, if I'm sponsored by a certain person or certain company or something like that, I will have to... You know, I can't really say it's bad if I'm trying to promote them. i got to say it's good, so... And that, that would be a lie. If I didn't think it was good and I have to say it's good, that wouldn't be me being honest, so... That's really why I don't... Don't want to be sponsored by somebody, to be honest. I don't want to be sponsored and I don't want to... I definitely don't want to go into partnership with any sort of company or anything like that, you know? I'm, solo, I'm a solo man. I like to, well, I say solo, obviously I do fish with subscribers and stuff like that, but I mean, in the sense of YouTube as a creator, I like I like being solo. I'm not saying I'm never going to accept a sponsor, because there has been a few that's popped up, and it has made me think it would be nice, but it would have to be something really that really does interest me big time. And for me to be able to give my honest opinion whether they like it or not that's that would be the thing i couldn't be sponsored by someone and say okay buy this or this is good i brought this and it's it's not i, I couldn't do that so it would have to be something that I, I i back and i believe in you're at the top by like 2.1 pounds <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd enjoy it, man. There'd be there'd be someone else who ends up overtaking and gets beats you by like half a pound. I guarantee it. Enjoy it while you can. Enjoy that nice moment. Rank 20. Yeah, we finally got rank 20. What's your preferred bait for the Maroon River catfish? Everybody always asks that. But I feel like there's so many baits. They all work really they all work really good. There's there's so many. There's like I don't think there's one that is actually better than another to be honest they all work but for me i kind of mix it up so i put fresh water prawns on mm, huge cut bait um sometimes i use large minnows sometimes frogs i always use frogs i always use crabs i always use huge cut bait but you can use other baits as well but the, uh, I try and mix it up so I'm not using the same baits all the time just so that way in case I notice a pattern like if I see that a certain bait is catching faster than another bait I would then say okay well that baits a better bait that's kind of how I always work out what's the best bait some days the, the fresh crabs work better today it seems like for some strange reason the huge cut bait is working better but from day to day it, it can change and I'm, when I say from day to day, I mean real days, not just in game, like in real life. Sorry, I'm new here, didn't know. Everyone asked that. That's alright, no worries, man. It's all good. This is a good one, yeah. I don't know what's going on today with the huge cut bait, but it's definitely pulling me in some monsters. The other baits are as well, but... That huge cut bait's definitely working really good today. I noticed it. I think I've noticed it more than any any of the other ones. Cool, that's running well. Cool. 
It's such a shame I can't stop it from running. Oh, there we go. Look, we've got error there. Oh, he's got the rods, the same rods as well. Nice. It's good to fish with your error, man. It's been a long time. Been a very long time. <clears throat> That's a good one. What's your biggest Tanvreek? Um, I don't know. I know I've had a unique. That's all I know, man. <laughs> I don't know biggest. I don't know actually. I have caught a few of them. But I haven't really bothered with them too, too much. I, I really do like uh, fishing for the catfish here. So I've probably, I have, I have caught them, but I've definitely spent more time catching catfish than anything else. A shine is good here. Shine is, is always a bait that I recommend in every lake. They're like the gold pot. If you ever, if, a big tip, if a new lake ever comes out and you're trying to catch a certain fish or you're trying to catch any fish and you can't find a, a certain spot where to catch fish, put on shiners, cast out a few rods in different, different locations. Shiners work in every lake. They are just... I don't know. It's kind of like the, the hash six if you're catching a big fish. It's an optimal hook. It always works. Same goes as the shiners. It's just one of those baits that always work. The shiners are pretty cheap and they, they work really well. Fishing Planet, we're having a pack sale. Just for your info. Are they? What do you think is the best pack to buy in the sale? I'll have a look in a minute. I didn't think there was... I did look in that not long ago. It was definitely in the in this stream I looked at it. To see if... Uh, see if they added any new DLCs. I don't I don't think I noticed that they were on offer though. I'll have a look. They, might have, they must have just done that recently. Oh, that just about covers for Unique. But... It definitely does give you a lot of XP and cash, that's for sure. Look at that. We actually beat today, well, this day, second day, we beat the first day by quite a bit as well. We got £668 on the net. It's not even quite seven, just under seven in the morning. This was definitely a better day than the day before. Let me have a look at the packs there. Deals, it's under deals, I guess. Oh, wow, yeah. Well, that Bass Boat Explorer Pack, as I said, that's probably the best DLC on the game. And that is 100% worth it. I think I paid like 30, 35 on PlayStation, I paid for that. And then I paid, I think it was 32 or 33 I paid for this on PC as well. So I did buy that pack twice. Also this one as well, the Tropical Hunter Pack, which gives you... The ability to get into Maroon River. I bought that pack for for PlayStation and for PC, and it's now nineteen pound forty-five. So that's definitely a good one. If you don't have that pack, it's definitely a good one to buy. That's for sure. Um, Christmas pack, lucky bundle. What's lucky bundle? Let me let me have a look at that. Can I? Okay, it's not. Let me do it. Let me use the mouse. Oh wow, wrong button. Lucky bundle, what's that? 15 days premium account. Oh wow, that rod is um, terrible. That's a nice looking hat though. Oh yeah, she get quite, quite a lot of gear. Oh wow, that might actually be worth it. I was going to say it weren't worth it at first, but it might be worth it. Like the only thing I would get it for probably is more for this sort of stuff, the jacket and the, the, the hats. But other than that, like the rods, the reels do look really good, but the rods are not, not the very best. That one's not too bad, that one there. That one's up to 46 pound. But other than that, that's not very, very good. I've heard people buy this one before. It's 
not a bad sight, isn't it? Probably wouldn't, probably wouldn't recommend that though, to be honest. That's pretty cheap though. Seven days premium account. Best spin rod, best reel. Different lures. That's not, a, yeah, 551 net. That's actually not a bad, that's actually a pretty cheap one, to be honest. For 1364, that's a pretty good DLC. Mm, plus 90 bait coins. Look at, look at that. That makes me kind of tempted to buy that. 35 pounds. Get 1,090 bait coins. Because obviously, I, I, every time I keep streaming, I'm jumping days forward. So because I'm jumping days forward, I have to keep spending my real money buying those bait coins. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Could have changed to the next day. <clears throat> yeah, discount. Like, but they've got some all right ones there. They're probably more for someone who's mm, probably not as high level as what I am. Or yeah, I probably wouldn't recommend it otherwise. Like if you're max, if you're max level, probably not. Yeah, they're probably not. It's not really worth buying any any DLC to be honest. Yeah, Archer I mean, it works well here. Yeah, it does. Yeah. There's so many baits. That that's what I mean. Like, there's not a specific bait that I, I would say is better than another one. They just there's just so many that works. The archer minnow, crawfish works, crawfish cut, duck muscle, fresh crab, fresh prawns, frogs, huge cut bait, large cut bait, large minnows, medium. The, yeah, there's so many baits that work in this place. It's crazy. Like an insane amount. The day before we got 40, 40 something thousand. This one we got 55,000. So definitely a big increase there. So from the stream, I, I think we've had about 150 to 200,000 in-game cash, I think. Around about that, surely. 2,269,600. It's good in this place, like for catching. You you do get a serious amount of cash and XP, but when you leave here, it it can get a little expensive as well. So do bear that in mind. It definitely does get expensive. Not only you have to repair all the rods and reels, um, and then obviously your other stuff like your net and that kind of thing. You also then got to replace all your leaders. You then got to buy more line and stuff as well. So it can get it can get really expensive. I guess if you didn't max it out all the time like I did, it probably wouldn't put as much wear onto your gear. But it doesn't really... I don't really notice too much of a difference, to be honest. And for the fact that I've got... I play this game a lot and I'm always earning money. It doesn't bother me too much about maxing it out and putting that little bit of wear on your gear that little bit quicker. I've heard catfish destroy ground bait is good too. I don't really use ground bait that much. I've made a few videos in the past um, of using ground bait and not using ground bait and looking between the difference between the two. I don't really think it makes too much of a difference. I don't think it's really... Like if you've got a, lo a lot of money on the game and you're kind of bored, I guess... I guess using ground baits, trying different ground baits, messing around with ground baits, is not a bad thing to do. Like, you're, you're, you're spending money and it's giving you, you're doing something different. But other than that, I don't think ground baits even worth it in this game. I don't really, I could be wrong, but again, just my personal opinion. Using the ground bait, I don't feel like it makes that much of a difference, to be honest. I really don't think it makes that much of a difference. I feel like it just does the does the same thing. Like it's supposed to... I think the odds is around about 17% or something like that. 17 point something percent that you catch fish bigger and at a fast pace. But have I noticed that? No, not really. Is it worth it? No, not really. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's really expensive. There was something actually that I was meant to show you that I didn't show you. So I'm going to show you that in just a sec, which was the, the catapult. The catapult looks really cool. For doing the um, the missions, for doing the missions in, uh, for the Christmas missions, that's, oh well, wow, that was so glitchy. Yeah, doing the Christmas missions, we got a catapult. Again, all those Christmas missions, if you're stuck on one, we made videos of those. you still got time left to do it. But if I... Let me mix up some ground bait real quick. I want to show you this slingshot. That's the first time I've ever had one of those, so it does look pretty cool. I'm going to quickly mix it up and just... Okay, pure snow. Okay. We're going to have to mix up pure snow. <laughs> That's all I have on me. <clears throat> right, there we go. Okay, so now I've... How's it going, man? Good to see you. Did you have a good Christmas? Look at this slingshot. That's the first time I've ever seen it. I didn't even know they even had a slingshot in Fishing Planet. Until, um... Yeah, I didn't even know they had one until until the missions, doing those Christmas missions. So you, you hold your finger on it, and it's kind of like the uh, the fishing rod emote motion kind of thing. You can get some distance with this, though. Look at this. 111 foot. You can also... Um, oh, what was it? Yeah, you can put ground bait in your hand, and you can throw ground bait out like that. But that only goes up to... Oh, I can't even remember now. I haven't used it for such a long time. I think it's like 40, 40 to 60 foot, I think it is. About 40 to, yeah, about 40 to, 40 to 60 foot, you can throw it in your hand. Whereas if that catapult, you can get about 114 foot. So big difference. And I think if you do it right, you can even get more range on it as well, because I have done it a few times where I, I've been casting out with the catapult and I, I aim it up higher and then obviously I'm getting that a little bit more distance. At least I think I am anyway. Look, let me show you. It's a shame I can't really zoom in like that. No, it doesn't. Don't let me zoom in. So if I shoot up, see if you can see where it lands. No, I didn't see it that time. <laughs> you had a good Christmas. That's nice, man. It's good to hear. Yeah, it doesn't let me zoom in, so I can't see. Or oh, it'd be good, like, as it lands, for it to, like, have a little red point or a little red arrow or something. Just to show you where it's landing for distance. Let me shoot it up like that. We'll look across the water, see if we can see. Oh, I saw a splash then. I don't know if that was it, though. I don't know. I think that was probably a little bit too far. But I like that anyway. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Bubbles, you're not online for me? Uh, I'm playing on PC today, not on PS4, man. So that could be why. I play on PS4 and on PC. So that, that might be the reason. Sometimes I play PS4, sometimes PC. I'm playing PC today because the Christmas update that dropped... I um I spent a lot of money going in different lakes and stuff and doing those missions. So because I spent a lot of money, I gotta get back on the grind again and earn that money back ready for the next update. But I do go from I do go between the two. I go from PS4 to to PC, but I kind of like I do play PS4. That PS4 used to be my main account for Fishing Planet, whereas if now it's PC, and that is just because it's um, updates, that's it, it's, that's the only reason. Otherwise, I probably would be, the PS4 probably would have been the, stayed as the main account, but updates always drop on PC before they do on, before they do on console, which is a bit of a pain, but because they drop on PC before they do on PS4 means I do have to put that little bit more time into the oh wow that was quick 
yeah, I have to put that little bit more time in playing PC compared to console because otherwise I won't have the money to, to show the next update. Yeah, I noticed you just joined. Yeah, look at that, rank 10. I just ranked up as well. If you're fishing in this place, you can definitely get a few ranks in one day for sure. What rank is Error? No, I think he's level 64, isn't he? Oh, he is. He, he has got ranks as well. Rank 22. Oh, wow. He's a higher rank than me. I'm only one level in front of him. As I say, though, ranks to me... I can get away with saying that. Ranks to me are not important because I play on two accounts. <laughs> if I didn't start... I do, it does make me wonder, though. If I stuck to one account, and obviously I, I've created four accounts. If I stuck to the one account and never played anything else, just that one account, I wonder... I really do wonder what my rank would be. It would have to be over 200, that's for sure. Just because I've hit max level... From making four accounts, I've hit max level three times. And then the, uh, the fourth account was almost max level. And then I've ranked up on some of these, some of these accounts as well. So if I stuck to just the one account... I honestly believe my rank would... It would, it would have to be more than rank 200, definitely. For sure. Now, the, this account is level 65, rank 20 now. And then on PS4, it's level 65, rank... Uh, can't remember the rank on P PS4 now. I think it's nearly... It is nearly... It's either rank 20 or it's nearly, nearly rank 20. One of those. And then I keep thinking about doing Xbox. Starting Xbox and maxing out that. But that's just going to be so much time consuming. It's going to be so much time consumed. And not just time, but my actual wallet in real life. It will cost me money buying DLCs and premium and, and that kind of thing. That music seems a little bit loud. Let me just turn it down a little bit. I don't know what rod to go with. I'm just going to stick with the one in my hand. I might be able to reel, reel really fast. and I might be able to get one of those other ones before they stop. I might be able to get this one. Yeah. Look how many freshwater crabs I got. Just because I think they work really well. I got 501 freshwater crabs. <laughs> It does get really expensive sometimes, buying baits as well. That can absolutely wet boot your money for real. It can really drain it so bad. I've spent, I know I definitely have spent millions on buying bait. I can't even, I couldn't even tell you how much, but I know it's definitely millions. There's so much. That's the only thing about this place that can be a little bit annoying sometimes, is when you're catching fish. Um, I've noticed, obviously, your other rods are going off, so you can't get them in time. And then, yeah, they're all like that, all swayed off to the left or to the right. You can leave them, and you can still get interest from them, but I don't. I always reset them back out, so it can be a little bit annoying sometimes that you have to keep putting up, picking up your rod all the time, and then replacing it, setting it back out again, getting it in the position where you want it to be. Yeah, definitely use closed feeders if you're fishing in this place. A float is okay, but definitely not from this main island. Using a float, it'll always go to the right, and that is an absolute pain. I don't even think that I've, in this place, I'm pretty sure... Well, I know off this island I have not caught one fish off this island using a float rod, that is. In another spot I have, but off this main island, which obviously is there, where you can see I am. Yeah, fishing from here using the float rod, I've never caught one thing. I don't know if anybody else has, but I just never have. Let me just do that, see if we can see where it lands. Okay, so I saw where that lands. Uh, I'll, have a, I'll have a go with that again in a minute. 
I reckon I could get it further than 114 foot though. If you shoot it up higher. I don't know by it. I want to see where it lands. Because if you shoot it up higher, is it going to just go up and then come back down quicker? Like in a shorter distance. Or is that going to add more more range? I would have thought it would have added more range. But I'm trying to find that out if these bait rods stop going off for a second. We'll be able to check it out. Let me go back to it. I think I'm probably going to have to make some more ground baits soon. Alright, so let me just shoot like that. No. Oh my gosh. You can't say no to fish, it's money. <laughs> I'm just trying to do some testings just for my just for my own experience more than anything else. That rod's going well. That's, that looks like a good fish on there. I'm trying to speed reel this. Oh, that one's timed out. That's going to end up timing out as well. I feel like sometimes when I do that, when, they, when those rods are going off, I do try my best not to pay any attention to them because otherwise when they go off, I try and reel faster and I try and you know keep striking more. And Sometimes it actually makes it it makes the process even longer for me to reel it in. So sometimes me paying attention to the other rod makes it harder for myself or the process longer. Hopefully it stays on there. That does look like a good fish. There we go. Maybe not as good as what I thought though. Still money though. We're not going to say no to cash. So that's the only thing, because I keep on taking characters off so that way we can't see them. I can't see them when I'm fishing with my dad or, or when we're fishing with subscribers. I can only see their I can only see their name at the top. I can't actually see the character. So that's why sometimes I don't like taking it off. Because I like to see the I like to see the person's character and stuff, I like to see what they're wearing. Obviously I can see it, but because I'm quite close, that allows me not to see it. I have to step back. I do think at some point though, I am going to be spending some more money on the game again. Mm, I don't know what, but I want to buy a DLC to get a jacket because I don't have a jacket on on this account. I've got, I've got a jacket, well quite a few jackets actually on the PS4. But on the PC, I don't have a jacket. I got the standard, the standard waistcoat. I want to get a better one. I'm not sure which one I'm going to get yet. I probably will end up making a video of it at some point, but yeah, I want to get. I definitely do want to get a new jacket. Is that my door? I think maybe it's my dog running. Why are minnows so expensive? <laughs> because they work very well, man. They do work really well in quite a lot of lakes. It's quite a popular boat. I'm surprised the shiners don't cost more money, to be honest, because they are the shiners are a really popular bait and they do work really well. So, yeah, I am actually quite surprised that they don't. That they're they're not more. I would expect them to be a lot more. Yeah, you can. You, there's certain missions you can do to to get like. Well, I, I haven't seen a mission for a jacket, but I mean, like to get a cap and stuff, to get a hat. There is um. There's a miss Christmas mission that you can do to get the hat. That's still available. You could actually do that. It's really easy. But um. I think maybe next week, possibly, I've got another mission on how to get a free hat. That, that one's going to be coming, I think, if I can this week, but probably not. It probably will be next week now. But if not, yeah, you can always buy, like, 
to buy those hats and jackets and stuff you can buy those from you can buy those from the DLCs DLC packs but some of them you can buy that are oh well okay I'll have to reset that some of them you can buy they are pretty cheap some of them some of them are just not worth they're not worth the money to be honest That's the that's the best thing about me not being sponsored. I can always be honest about whether I think something is good or not. But there was one that I did actually see. What was it? I think it was um. It's not that I really I don't really want the rods or anything like that. It's just more <coughs> more just for the jacket. Like like that one's quite a big deal. Let me use the mouse because otherwise it's not going to let me. It's not going to let me position it properly. That's actually quite a big. DLC that 188 bait coins that makes me excited straight away which map is this this is maroon river welcome to the stream man 180 bait coins but look how many rods you get you do get a, quite a lot of rods what's the strongest rod there 12 pound 17 50 pound that's not bad 23 23 is okay 56 pound there Bottom rod, that's not bad. Heavy chaser. Oh, you get the carp rod as well. Deep poles on, that's pretty good. Some pretty good reels as well. That actually is a pretty decent pack, to be honest. You get the sport cap, sport shirt as well. This wasn't the DLC that I was thinking about buying, but just because I saw it, you actually get quite a lot of stuff for your money there. Wow. Tons and tons of ground bait. You get a fishing net. What? Why? Why does it give you so many nets? Do you know what? That would be a good DLC just to buy. And then sell everything. All for bait coins. That would actually probably be cheaper to do that than actually buying bait coins for real. Why do you get two fish cabin nets? And then three that can't be right two nets of the same why would you get that and then three of the same of that which is the same as that anyway and then that one there and then you get three of the medium ones that's got to be a bug isn't it why would it give you three of the same nets if it did that would be an insane way to just go and sell them all and get an insane amount of bait coins I don't know if that's bugged or not. That does seem a bit weird to me. It definitely does seem weird for it to be that amount of nets. That, that just it don't quite make sense. I don't know. Uh, I think it was under sport packs that I saw it. It was quite a cheap. Yeah, this one here. I was thinking about buying this one. I might make a video of it at some point. I don't know. Just because it's a cheap DLC. You don't, you don't get any rod, but it's for the fact of the jacket more than anything else. I've been looking at that pack. It's not bugged. It's not. If it ain't bugged, then that's a really good pack, man. Like, you could sell all of those nets. If you sell all of those nets, that's that will be... Um, I quite like that jacket. That's quite nice. That would be some serious bait coins that you could earn from that. Rigs combo. Hmm. Advantage pack. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if I trust it, man. There is so much that you get, though. I just don't know about the the nets. Like, will it give you one of each net? Because it says it says times three, so. Technically, it should be giving you. Yeah, it's a little bit of a weird one. It is a bit weird. Anyway, I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, well. I'm going to keep fishing. Yeah, that's a bit. It seems a bit bugged out. It's a bit, it's a bit strange. If it's not bugged out, though, then it's because it's multiple packs combined. Well, if it's not. 
instead of buying bait coins, you know what would be really good just to buy that pack and then go sell all those go sell all those nets because obviously I wouldn't need any. Sell all the nets, so then if you sell all the nets, some of them nets sell for some serious amount of bait coins, you know. That'd be a, that'd probably be a better way to buy that and then sell it, sell the nets just just to get bait coins rather than buying bait coins. But then you get a few other bits and pieces with it as well. That's really good. That's definitely worth it. How you doing? Hey? No, what? What you at? No, I ain't. Oh, you ain't. So I'm gonna keep doing some fishing, um, but I'm gonna be doing that off screen. But yeah, I didn't stream as long as what I normally do. This was a about nearly two hours 30 but i'm gonna fish a little bit just chill fish a little bit um off stream earn some money back look forward to the next update hope you guys did enjoy this one hope you guys all did have a awesome christmas as well don't forget to subscribe if you're new and um keep an eye out for future updates we'll have more videos coming tomorrow i don't know if i'm gonna do a stream tomorrow or videos the streams are gonna be a bit random for the for the moment but we always post out videos every day but yeah, thanks everyone who dropped a like as well. Let's us know you're still enjoying Fishing Planet. You know how it goes. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.